Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna craft tonight. It's Thursday night. I'm here every Thursday night, 7.30 Central Time. So if you're watching replay, thank you for watching and there are some people hopping on, yay. Let me see what my light set on. Hold on, y'all don't go away. I'm coming back. I just gotta see what my, no, that ain't it. Okay. I had to turn my light down. I thought I thought my light was a little too bright, so I, <laughs> I was like, it looks awful bright, so I had to turn it down a notch. Hey, Luann. Hey, Karina and Leslie. Hello, everybody. Hey, Judy. <clears throat> I'm going to start sanding my little thing. Oh, I forgot something. Hold on. I thought I had everything. It's like when you have everything, you have everything, and then you don't. Hey, Lenora and Christine and Christy, hello. I'm good, how are you? Hey, Donna and Cheryl, y'all come on in and have a seat. And we're gonna make something. It's kind of been going around in my head for a little while. Hey, Cheryl and Susie and Carla. And it's, I've been kind of sitting on this craft for a little while, thinking about it, and then it's like, today's the day. <laughs> So, hey, Tina, and I'm just, these are like little wood rounds uh, from Walmart, and I don't know if Dollar Tree has these or not, but they come in a little pack like this, and they're maybe a couple of dollars, not even that, and they're, well, my little bag has bit the dust, um, just says six wood circles and they come in like a little pack at Walmart in the crafting aisle and there's six in there and we're going to use two. Oh, thank you. This is from Beware. I love this color shirt. Y'all love this color. And I have the other one that's the same print, but it's different. It's on a different shirt. I have it too because I liked the colors in that flower. Hey, Norma and Donna and Ira. Hello. Hey, Pat. Hey, Liz. Um, so I'm going to use these little wood rounds, and they come like this, okay? They're just wood, and Hobby Lobby has them. I'm sure Michael's, Joanne's, all of them have, but I know Walmart has them. Um, yay, Linda, thank you. Um, and my husband drilled little holes in mine for me at the top and the bottom. So, um, oh, you got, that's right, Stacy. I did use those from the snowman sign. So, okay, so if you have some left over from that snowman sign, that was one of my favorites, by the way. Um, you can use that or Dollar Tree has these and my husband, I guess he threw the pack away because, um, he drilled holes in them for me, but, uh, Dollar Tree has these little, uh, wood rounds. And so I'm going to do some on this too. So you can use whatever you want. Thank you, Debbie. Hey, Wendy. Hello, Jill. Um, so we're going to kind of do both versions of it in case you don't have one or the other. Now, the Dollar Tree little rounds, they come two in a pack, and I've only seen them one time. Hey, Ruthie. Hey, Barb. Hello, Wiletta and Tammy. Um, so, there's some, some are smaller and some are bigger, you know, and they have, some of them have different bark. I mean, look at these. These look really weird compared to that. They look different. Anyway, I just now noticed that. I'm like, that's kind of strange. Different kind of tree, I guess. Hey, Catherine and Deborah and Esther and hey, Leisha. So anyway, so we're going to, he got happy and drilled a hole in all of these. <laughs> I told him to, but maybe he thought I meant to pack. I don't know what he did, but anyway. Oh, you've ordered a bunch of shirts from Beware. Yeah, this is from Beware and they have changed my code because my code was being put on all these websites on the internet somewhere. So um, it's TTV and that's all it is for 15% off of my Beware shirts. Hey, Shelby and Debbie and Tammy and Barbara. And if I miss your name, I'm sorry. I try to catch them all, but I, I, some, I mostly don't. Well, I try to catch them, but sometimes I don't just because I'm trying to talk and craft and do all that thing. Hey, Sue and Barbara. Okay, so I did put um, a printable in the reveal group just right before I went live because we're going to be using a, a, a free printable on this one because I had to create something to put on here. Sorry, y'all. I'm thirsty. Hey, Becky and Darcel and Brenda and Debbie. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. I printed... I did it two different ways. And the first way, I did it all on one page. 
and I thought it looked all kind of too crowded. So I did it on two pages. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, this is the first page. They're the same, the second page and the first page are the same, except the first page are the bigger ones and the second page are the smaller ones, okay? So if you only wanna print the bigger ones, which are like three inches round, then you can print the bigger ones or you can print them both. I just didn't know if you, I was trying to save you from printing more than you need to print. But that's what that means. This is the bigger size and these are the smaller size. Same images, they're just a little, these are smaller than these. Um, may the fourth be with you, Dana. <laughs> um, oh, Marcia already printed hers. Okay, so I printed mine. Y'all know I love to print on tissue paper. So I printed mine on tissue paper. So all I do is I cut my tissue paper smaller than the paper. Y'all see me do this a whole lot of times. I love doing this technique, but um, so I printed on tissue paper. All I do is cut it smaller than the paper and then I tape the top side. So you need to figure out which way it's gonna feed in your printer, face down, face up, all that good stuff. So the only side I, print, I tape is I tape all the way across the feed end where it's gonna feed and catch the rollers. So, um, hey Jerry and Sherry and Corby and Jerry, thank you Jerry. Um, so that's what I did. So you've got a flower with a butterfly, you've got a little bee with a little wreath. I can't see if y'all can see it or not. There's a little sunflower that says stand tall and shine. And then this one is just a ring circle kind of thing. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Dana, you've never seen Star Wars? Oh my gosh, I've seen Star Wars since I was a kid. So I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do a couple on just these rounds. You can use anything you want to, guys, if you have round. If you want to make them out of cardboard, dress them up, make them look out of cardboard. Nobody's going to know. Hey, Linda and Tina and Sherry. Okay, so... Like I said, my husband drilled holes in the top and the bottom, and then he did that to these little wood pieces. So this is why I made two sizes of the printables, because some of these are smaller, and you know, some of them are bigger, and then some of them are even bigger. So that's why I did two sizes. Um, you're okay, Susan. So if you're not in the group, it's called the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. It's just my free community that's attached to my page where everybody shows off their crafts and stuff, whether it's from me or anybody else. Um, and then um, I can only put printables and files on in the group. It won't let me put it here on my main page. So that's where I have to put them. Um, so that's why I put them in the group because I can't do it here. Uh, Diane, we can help you print. And so all you do is you go up in the group, you go to the files tab it's actually probably at the top of the group right now because I just put it in there. You can go to the files tab and that's where all the files are. And you just hit hit it and it'll download to your computer or your iPad. And then you just go on your iPad to where your downloads are and then you can print it and send it to your printer. Hey Sherry, you own the VHS tapes of Star Wars, you never watch them. Hi Diane, you're okay, y'all are okay. You're not late, we're just chit chatting and about to get started. Becky, it didn't work for you. Did you tape all the way across? Because if you don't tape all the way across, that paper edge, that tissue paper will get caught on your roller and it will tear it all off. So that's how I have to do it. Um, hey, Tina. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here the best way I can, hopefully without tearing it, off of my printer paper. So the printer paper is just like, you know, your little carry sheet that's gonna carry it through your printer. So I just took it off of there and this is what I have left. Um, I don't know why I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so I'm gonna start off by painting a couple of these white. You can paint them any color you want to, but um, I'm gonna paint mine white to start with. I need a Kind of a bigger brush than that. I didn't get my brush out. Here we go. <sighs> not seen Star Wars, but not really a fan. I've seen it only because my brother was a huge fan when I was a kid. So 
you know, it came out in the 70s and I was little and, you know, I didn't really have much of a choice. But I can remember going to the movie theater and seeing a couple of them. But I haven't kept up with all of the recent Star Wars. Um, yes, Dana, I know. If you want to print on the fabric, I've done that too. And I love doing that. And if you want to print on the muslin fabric for this, you can absolutely do the same thing that I'm doing here. I just did the tissue paper. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do it. Afraid of jamming the printer at work. Um, and you can also send it to like the UPS store or wherever. And you can have them printed that way. Um, I know, big post-it note paper. <laughs> So I'm gonna do like you know a couple of little coats because y'all know how white is. It won't, it won't. It's gonna take more than one coat really to get it, to get it to cover. And of course, we got to do the edges and the other side. Okay, somebody, everybody's having, some people are having trouble. I don't know if it's, uh, it may be Facebook, but sometimes it does that to me too. Like I don't have a sound and I have to go out and come back in. You like this color? I know, I love it. It's beware. They have a, they have it on like a blue color. And I think of, why did I put paint here? And then I put paint here. Did y'all see me do that? <laughs> I'm going to use it anyway. I don't know what I did. <laughs> y'all don't ask me. It has been a Monday. I feel like every day this week has been a Monday. Um, it's just, today was not as bad. But the last three days, I just felt like have been Mondays. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's, going to be a full moon tomorrow night. I don't know, but um, it's crazy. It's been crazy at my house this week. Hey, Debbie. So, I, I don't know what's going on. I feel like a lot of people have been saying that it's been a Monday every day this week, too. I, Monday was a big Monday. It was like, I don't know. I just felt like everything I touched just wouldn't happen. <laughs> and... Today's probably been the better of the days, but it's going to be better. It's just one of those things. Okay. So, I'm going to kind of dry this a little bit. It looks like a tangerine. Oh, my shirt? Yeah, it's really, I don't know what color this is. Stacy, I don't worry about the wrinkles in my paper because um, that gives it a little extra character. So, I don't really worry about getting the wrinkles out of my paper. Elaine, we're going to make these little, I don't even know what you want to call them, um, hangy things. I don't, I don't know what to call them. Um, yes, Bev, tomorrow night, I think. Oh, hey, Lori, you have to see me live on your day off. Awesome. Okay, so I know this needs more paint because it's white. Um, and I choose white. You can do whatever color you want to, but you know the tissue paper is going to kind of, um, make it a little bit, uh, there's a gnat or a mosquito or something flying around in here. Well, he's got this whole room to fly around in and he's gonna come right here. <laughs> I, have my, I keep my doors open during the day when it's nice outside, so I think it's a gnat. Go away. Um, so I get kind of bugs in here sometimes, like flying bugs, and sometimes it's big ones and I'm just like dodging it till it leaves gosh this is like soaking up this paint reminds you of a dream sequel it does it is that color it's kind of like a sherbet this color but i don't know what they call it but i'm sure it says on their website what color the shirt this is but i do not remember but i do like the blue one too because the the things on the shirt is different color on the blue one too Orange Sherbert, that's what I said, Lenore, exactly what I said. Okay, so getting that one painted. I'm just going to kind of prop it up. Well, that ain't a good place to prop it up because I got to touch my paint. All right. You love my shirt? Hey, Sherry from Virginia. The birdhouses, the top ones way up here, that's a set that's in my shop. They're on like little, little faux spindles. That's what they look like. Um, hey, Donna, prom, probably drunk. They, yeah, that's probably what it is. It's the light, but I got big lights in the ceiling too. I don't know. And then they say the carbon dioxide you breathe out, they, they're drawn to that too. So who really knows? But I like to sit out here and work and the doors open and it's nice enough to where we're not sweating with, 
you know, it's nice weather outside. Rather have, see him, there he goes. He's just trying to get on, get on my live and say hey to y'all. He's just flying by. He's gonna land on the paint in a minute <laughs> and he's gonna get stuck. Oh my goodness. I'm just painting both sides because y'all know I'm bad um, about not painting the back. So I'm gonna paint the back. They call it peach? Okay, maybe they just be simple and call it peach. <laughs> but, um, yeah, go check out their shirts. I, I need to go on there and see if they got any new ones because I haven't looked in quite a while since I got my spring shirts. And I need to go see. But my code has changed on Beware. It's TTV. That's all it is. Because they it, it got put on some kind of a, like, retail me not or something like that. And they found out it was coming from there or some kind of something. I'm like, I have no idea how that happened, but you know how it is. So they had to change my code. Okay. See if this, Oh, this is not dry, but I got to paint my little where I was holding on to it. Okay. That's not dry. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and paint. I like the smooth. I like these smooth side ones. You see the smooth side? Um, so, cause these are like really barky. And then these aren't. It's just different. But anyway, I'm going to do this one. And on these, I'm just going to kind of paint. I'm not going to go all the way out to the very edge. But I'm just going to kind of paint the center. Palette. 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 Uh, trying to think of what she's talking about. The palette, the little flag palette, I think is what she's saying. I think I measured it that night that we did that. But that's the only palette I know. Oh, your roses have bloomed out, Kay? Well, our knockout roses are blooming, and my irises are still hanging in there a little bit. But, um, yeah, everything's, everything's late this year to me. A craft with a bee printables available on... Oh, it's not just bees. There's flowers, there's bees, there's all kinds of stuff. But see how I just painted that inside part? Oh, Leah, you forgot about your code. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's TTV. Anyway. Yeah, your irises are about gone. Okay, let me get this one and paint where my fingers were. Okay, and I'm going to dry it because we got to get started. Donna, I know, and this is really late for us. Like, it's been cool for long this time. Um... And that's not really like us. We usually go from spring and get a we get a week or week of spring, and then it's it just gets instantaneously hot. Um, snow, Linda. No, you keep that up there. Double knockouts. Yes, I love the knockout roses. Oh, this is just some transparent. I still need to paint it again, but I'm not. It just looks it looks kind of tacky, but anyway, we're just gonna go with it. I put two coats on it, and you can still tell. See how transparent it looks? I don't know if it's soaking it up or what. Um, Dorothy, yeah, just go. If you go to the group, and you can just ask to join, and then when I get off the live, or either my moderators will take care of it, we'll go and let, let you in. That we, we just do that process because it keeps out a lot of people who, believe it or not, there are crazy people out there that try to get in the group, and they have no sense being in there. If you know what I mean, they're just not a crafter, <laughs> and they want to be in there. Right, Christy? I'm going to try not to complain, though. I want it to be warm. Um, so, we just do that process of having to let you in the group because of that. Uh, Linda, <laughs> no, I'm actually not going to be gluing two things together tonight. My little shelf is still back there that we did, but... That was so funny because I know y'all were screaming at me. No! You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Because I glued it. I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> it was so funny. Okay. So, I've got them white. All right. So, now I'm going to attempt to make sure it's good and dry. 
So I'm going to use the B first, and we're going to do him. Um, so I'm going to take my paper, and I'm going to... So see how you can hold it up like this, and I can tell, you know, that it's kind of centered on my round thing. That's the beauty of the tissue paper. So to keep from cutting the rest of it, I think I'm going to do this. And I'm using the big size on these little rounds because these rounds are, I think, think three inches because I, I had to measure them today. They're a little over three inches, the round is. <laughs> it was funny. So all I'm going to do is hold it down where I put it on my um, I centered it on the B and then I'm just going to kind of tear it a little bit the best I can, even though it's not perfect, but it'll be okay. All right. I mean, I could have cut it, but I'll just tear it and it makes it, makes it a little easier. Now I do have some like the ragged edges, but we'll take care of that in a minute. Christmas cactus is blooming and it's orange. Oh, it's not Christmas. I thought they bloomed at Christmas. Why did I think they just bloomed at Christmas? Okay, so, and you'll know which side to use because, you know, it's printed only on one side. All right, so let me get my Mod Podge. Oh, yeah, Kathy, yes. You can definitely use some, this is Mod Podge, sorry. Um, use some colored tissue paper. I don't have any yellow. I have turquoise blue, but um, when I wrap my earrings, when I ship earrings, I wrap them in turquoise tissue paper, and I have that color, and that would be really pretty. So if you have some of that, like from Dollar Tree, that are the, it's, you know, colored or whatever, or print, you could definitely do that. So I just covered it with Mod Podge, and I'm gonna line my holes. I want one hole at the top, and I want one hole at the bottom. And I'm gonna try to, you really only get one shot at this because you aren't gonna be able to pull that paper back off that Mod Podge because it's tissue paper. So I'm trying to get in pretty much centered. Just kind of looking at my B and the holes and try to get him on there. And if it wrinkles, I'm okay with that. It's, it's going to be totally fine if it wrinkles up. And I need to put some more on the edge. But they, I'm telling you, this is going to be really cute. Y'all just hang on. Okay. Had to put some more on the edge. Christmas cactus and a thanks, Thanksgiving cactus. I have never heard of that. Okay, so I've got that on there. See how cute it is? I mean, you really can't even tell that it's paper. It looks like it was just printed on the wood piece. Where's my sander? Got my little sander. And you want to go down. Just down. Don't go back and forth because you're going to pull your paper back up when you come back up. But just just go down like that. You know, down and lift. And that tissue paper tears really, really well. But if you're doing fabric, just, you know, you can cut your fabric to the size of this or you can cut it a little bit smaller. Okay. So see how cute that is? Looks like a little coaster, doesn't it? So I've got those holes. Where is my, get you a pokey thing or something and just kind of poke those holes out. And you can definitely do both sides of these. Um, I'm not just for the sake of time, but you could definitely put, put it on the same, on the other side. Um, this is kind of like a, you can use this as a car charm to hang in your mirror or hang in your, hang in your car or something or hang anywhere you want to. Okay, there's that one. So let me get, we're going to do this one. Let me see, where's my paper? All right, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this down here because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put in the middle. Um, thank you, Dana. Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna put my, put my image and try to get it centered the best I can. Let me just cut it first, that way off. So that's why I spaced them out and put them on two pages so you would have enough room to cut it. And because the other one, I first one I did, I had them all on one page and I was like, well, that's kind of jumbled. And so I 
redid it. Okay, let's see. I'm just getting it centered. So just look at your image and try to get it centered the best way you can. I need to move it that way. And if it's off a little bit, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. So I'm going to turn it over and then I'm just going to tear it. Just because tissue paper is so easy to tear. Just be sure and hold it down good when you do it. Okay. All right. So I've got my, my image. And now we're going to put the Mod Podge down. Oh, it's somebody's birthday. I'm trying to see which side looks better. But like I said, you could definitely do both sides. And you could just print it twice. Or you can just paint the uh, the back side a solid color to match or whatever cuz we're going to we're going to do something we're going to fancy these up a little bit. I know right now they kind of look a little plain, but they are going to be uh, really cute, I promise. <clears throat> but like I said, if you want to hang these in your car or if you have a tree that you use all year long, you could do that. All right. So now I got to get it centered. And like I said, you only got one time to get this right, really, because you can't move that paper around being tissue paper once you kind of put it on your Mod Podge. Because it tears so easy. And you could use napkins on this if you want to use napkins. Um, okay. So, see, mine does have wrinkles in it. And, I mean, I'm not really worried about it. Happy birthday. It's somebody's birthday. So, yeah, this print, this printable thing is on my is in the group and there's a there's two pages to it one's a bigger size and then one's a smaller size in case your rounds are like these are so different there's some of them are small and then some of them are like really big like that so if you happen to have some wood slices or whatever it is you want to use so i just did two sizes just in case so that way you don't have to worry about trying to resize it and trying to get it right I think these are like three inches and then the other the smaller ones are like two and a half maybe approximately okay so there's my there's my flower one it's gonna be super cute y'all wait to see what we're gonna do with it so we got a bee and then we have this the little thing the flower one and i think i'm gonna maybe use my let's see so see if it's going to fit oh it is okay so there's a butterfly with a flower, and then there's a sunflower, and the bee, and then the, the wreath. So you got a bunch of different choices. Yes, you can do the iron method too, and you can even, after this dries, you can even go over with the iron and it'll get the wrinkles out after it dries. Um, oh, it's Betty Jenkins' birthday. Well, happy, happy birthday, Betty. Oh, Kathy, it's your anniversary tomorrow, 44 years. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do Stand Tall and Shine, the little sunflower, and I'm going to put it in the middle of that. So this is going to be a little different because I'm not going to um, tear it like I did the other one. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh, I think I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so this round is pretty big, and my white that I painted is the same size as this small one. So I am going to put this down. Make sure I got it all covered. And then I'm just going to tear my paper like I did um, before. Yeah, this is just tissue paper. I printed the printable on tissue paper. Okay. So I'm probably going to have to trim these edges with scissors. Okay. So see, I just did it like this. But I also it also made a crease. But I like the edges kind of torn looking. But with the white paint, you're not going to be able to tell. But if you paint this a color, when you put the tissue paper on top, it's going to kind of um, mute it a little bit, which is okay. All right. So, see, mine's not perfect. Um, hey, Kristen. You're welcome, Carla, for the printable. Um, okay. So, see, I still have this one left. And these will be cute for Mother's Day or you, if you have grandkids, they could make this for their mom or, you know, whatever. They could do that too. Okay. So 
I'm gonna put some Mod Podge down. And we're gonna mod I got way too much, but it's better to have too much though. I'm trying to get it off. I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way to the edge, seal it or whatever. Try to use what I have. There we go. But like I said, you can do the other side too, or you can have the kids write their names on the back or say, you know, Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day in the year or whatever. You could do this for your Sunday school class. Anything like that you can do. So the sky's the limit. I'm just kind of move it over. Okay. Like I said, once you put that tissue paper down, though, it's no moving that stuff because that Mod Podge has got it and it'll tear. Okay. Look how cute this is. So, so cute. Okay. So now we got our stuff on there. And let me get my, clean up my mess. Put my brushes in the water before they sit here and dry all night. Where do I get the printables? Kim, they're in the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal Group. I can't put files on this page, so I have to put it in the group page. So cute, right? Well, we're going to make it even cuter than this. So I've got these three. So, oh, I've got to make my... Where did my X-Acto tool go? I know I didn't put... Yeah, I did put it back, too. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out the paper in my little holes. So, and like, that one went through that flower, and that's okay. Oh, rice paper. I've never printed on rice paper. See, that one didn't go over the hole, so it's good. Um, I'm sorry, Sherry, whatever's happened. Oh, your fur baby. I'm so sorry. Bless it. I'm, that's so hard. So hard. Okay. So, this one is just plain in the middle. Well, I left it like that. I wanted it like that for a purpose. Y'all know what I'm about to do. Let me find the ones I had sitting out here. Where are they? I've done moved everything around on my table, and I don't know what I, where I put them. Okay, here they are. All right, so I've got stamps that I got on Amazon. They're in my Amazon shop, and there was like one set that had like four or five, and it was really inexpensive, and it's big alphabets. If you can freehand your letters, more power to you because I can't. <laughs> Mine would look like a, a kindergartner wrote it because I have terrible handwriting. So if I want it to look really pretty, I'm going to use a stamp or something else. So I'm going to take my L, and that's what I'm going to stamp right here in the middle of my block for my first name. But you could, you could put whatever you wanted to in the middle. You don't even have to put anything in the middle. Um, okay, so there's my block and my stamp. And I'm going to get it really good and get ink on it. And then I'm going to go right in the center. Let me make sure I got it straight. pretty that is. Lucky, lucky. That changed the whole look of the whole thing. Okay. All right. So, I'm gonna put all this over here with all the rest of the junk that's over here. But look how pretty this is. So, I'm gonna kind of let that sit there and let it dry a minute and I'm gonna work on these. Which is where to see my printer's Bluetooth. Oh, look at Liz. Y'all do it on your phone. Y'all are all fancy. So, my B. I'm got, I want to paint my little B a little bit of yellow, but I don't want it paint, so to speak. So, I'm going to use... Now, I did get out my watercolor. I just have some Michaels $5 watercolor. I have some more expensive ones over here that I've used, but you can use your watercolor, whatever you want to use, colored pencils. You can do that, too. Um, but I'm just going to use a little bit, and when I say a little bit, I mean not even a, not even a, a dot. I won't even use all of that, okay? I'm going to 
kind of use do it like watercolor but it's not watercolor hey danica hey donna okay so I'm, i want to paint his little white areas i'm going to paint those yellow so i'm going to wet my paintbrush just i'm just going to wet it and then i'm barely going to touch my brush in that paint and then i'm going to come over here and kind of make me a a little puddle basically because you're uh, paintbrush has got a lot of water in it even though it's little i got a lot of water in there so i'm going to kind of blot it off but then i'm gonna come back over here to my little puddle that i made that's just barely got any color in it and then i'm going to come over here to my and it's drying up <laughs> it's soaking in my plate these aren't the coated plates i guess let me get a little bit more there we go and you could do this with markers. If you're doing this with kids, you can definitely do it with markers. But, um, so see, there he is. And you don't even have to put any paint out. You could just get some off your the lid, inside of your lid. But basically, I'm just using it like watercolor. And I got a little puddle right there. Okay. So see my look, just that little bit of yellow. Yellow, I shouldn't say yellow. <laughs> That sounds real country, doesn't it? Okay. And so, on these little leaves on the wreath part, I'm just going to get a little bit of green. This is avocado. I just picked kind of a darker green. And I'm just going to just put a little on my plate. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get my brush. You see the water hanging off of it? And I'm just going to get a little bitty bit of paint. I mean, it doesn't take much. And I'm going to... And of course, it's going to dry up on me because it's going to soak into the plate, but that's okay. All right. And so, I'm just going to come over here to it and just put a little green in my leaves with a little tiny paintbrush. And this is just going to add a little bit of color, but not, you know, overpowering because the paint's watered down. So, you're going to be able to see the, the lines through the paint. And it goes really fast. Look how cute this is. Hey, Annika. Isn't that cute? Look, it's just a little bitty bit of color. Nothing, nothing overpowering. And I'm just kind of going around and doing some on the little vine a little bit. And that's, that's all it is. It's nothing major. Look how cute this looks. Okay. Um, anyway. So now I've got, there are little flowers on the wreath, but I'm going to leave those the way they are. I'm not going to add anything else to this. You're welcome to color those in and do whatever you want to the little flowers, but I just want that little bitty touch of color. All right, so I'm going to leave that one alone. So now we're going to work on this one. I can't wait to do this one. Um, so I've got King's Gold. This is one of my favorites. Um, I'm just gonna do what I told y'all to do in the first place. I'm gonna get my brush, get some good bit of water on it. I may take some off. And then I'm just barely gonna get enough paint. And then I'm gonna just kind of blot a lot of it off. Cause you don't want it to soak your, if you soak it, it'll kind of bleed. Um, so now I'm just gonna go in here and you're just like basically painting in a coloring book. You're just filling in all of these little petals. And we're just giving it a, some color. And if you don't want to give it color, you don't have to. This plate is, is getting on my nerves because it's soaking in. <laughs> and it's not, um, it's, it's soaking in my paint and my color. Because <laughs> it's not coated. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm just painting in my little sunflower. I gotta get some more paint because it's too light. So you're just gonna go around and paint all the little petals like you're in your little coloring book. I used to love to color when I was a kid. I don't know about y'all, but I love to color. I'd color the whole coloring book, every page, like it was just a masterpiece. 
try to stay in the lines and do shading and all kinds of stuff. You know how you try to get all fancy with your coloring. Uh, so these are printables that are in the group and they are, um, I printed it on tissue paper, but you definitely could do napkins with what I'm doing, or you can use these printables that I made for y'all for in the, that's in the group. You love the adult ones. I have some and I, I have do it from time to time. I just haven't in a really long time. But yes, I have the colored pencils and the whole thing for the adult ones. Okay, so look how pretty that is. See how cute this is? You still like to color in your 62. That's okay, Frida. It's, it's relaxing to color. And, and people don't understand that. Some people don't. They're like, oh, you're coloring. It's a, that's a kid thing. No, it's not. No family dollar, and she's afraid that it will slow down. I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all are talking about all kinds of stuff. Okay, so there's, I'm going to do my, this is just real brown, and I'm going to do my center of my little sunflower, and you can do whatever color you want. If you want to paint your bee um, and your little flowers different colors, it's whatever you want to paint in. Or you can paint this a different color. You could paint this like a daisy if you wanted to. But see, it has a wrinkle right across the front, the middle, and I'm okay with that. It's okay with that. I am okay with it. So I just put a little bit of brown. Okay, didn't take much. Um, where's my paintbrush? Oh, I gotta use it for this. So I got this one to do. Hey, Carol. Okay. So I'm gonna do this one. This is the one that I stamped in the middle. Um, and then we're gonna pretty them up. So I'm gonna do the green again. Where's my water? And I'm gonna do the leaves. And I'm just kinda hitting it, y'all. I'm not like doing every little part of the leaf. As long as you get a little color in there, it's kind of, doesn't have to be perfect. But if you want to do it perfect, you're more than welcome. You can get you some colored pencils or some markers and you can make it look like a professional did it. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit the bottom of my little leaves on my flowers. The little, what's the little part that holds the flowers? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Where the bud comes out, that little round thing. I'm painting those too. And you'll see, I think I got them all. Nope, there's one. Okay, all right, so see, there's my green leaves. Cute, 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 cute. Okay, now I'm gonna paint my flowers. This is called Blueberry Frost, but I wanted to kind of look like uh, oops, Morning Glories or something. Hey, Tammy, I am making, um, I don't really know what I'm making, what this is called. Just little decorative hangy things or you can hang them in your car. Um, whew. Got too much water. And so you can just blot it right off. Uh, the pod, the pod where the little, it's the base of the flower basically. Get some water. Okay. So I'm just gonna kinda dot around my flower where the petals are. Not trying to paint each one separately. I'm just kind of, um, giving it the uh, the look of it being uh, painted. Oh, you've not seen this color before? I know, I love this color. I like using it in the for wintertime stuff. Um, Cause it's like a wintery, it looks wintery, but different aspects it doesn't. It looks, uh, you'll see, it looks kind of like a morning glory, but it really changes the look of this. Um, so like I said, I'm just kind of dotting all around the flower, not trying to paint each petal individual. See, look how pretty that is. Because the water kind of does, since it's kind of like watercolor that we're making, it kind of spreads out on its own. And I think it's, you know, it just kind of takes over. 
Um, no, this is not stamping. It's uh, tissue paper that I printed on a printer. And then we put them on these rounds. Um, so I'm going to dip in my yellow. Y'all are just all chalking amongst yourselves, and I love it. Meet you some friends. And then I'm just going in the middle of my little whatever kind of flowers I'm making. And I did the yellow. Look how cute. So like I said, you could do both sides if you wanted to. And do, because if you were like hanging this from your review mirror or something like that, it would, you know, you would probably see both sides. But it's up to you what you want to do. Um, okay, how to join the group. It's, um, I would put it at the bottom, but I can't. Right this second. Um, it's the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And then you go there and you click, you know, join the group. And then it's going to ask you questions like, do you follow the Turquoise Valentine? Do you, that kind of stuff. Agree to the rules, you know. And then we have to come and let you in. Um, because we have to keep out some people that aren't there to be crafting. If y'all know what I mean. Okay. So there's my L and the sunflower and the B. So now we've got to make these all pretty. What color was the blue? Blueberry Frost by Apple Barrel. And then the, the, the sunflower was King's Gold. And I use avocado, but it's like a, it's a dark green. And then um, bright, just some brown. And then I use regular, just bright yellow from Michaels. Um, a stamen. Oh, the center of the thing is a, is a stamen or whatever it is. Yes. Okay, there's Dana. Dana's trying to tell her. Okay, so now we're going to make these cute, okay? So y'all know I've got way too much yarn that I know what to do with. Um, you would think I was a crocheter, and I'm not a crocheter. So, I'm going to make a tassel to hang off the bottom of this. And you can do this if you want to. You don't have to because it is going to make it bigger, <laughs> obviously. I hope I can find the, y'all, this is always my nemesis. But see, when I pull it, it's underneath, I don't even know. It's underneath this label and it's not going to. It's going to be difficult for me. So, thank you, Kathy. Okay. It won't let you, Wendy. It's a PDF, so I don't know if that matters. So, this is my real scientific method of how big I want my tassel to be. Um, I just kind of do like this. Well, I want it to be about like that. Okay? So, this is three inches. And it's longer than what I need, but I, it gives me... A, gives me a place where I can cut it off. Um, I can cut my, you know, give it a haircut. So I'm just gonna start wrapping and I'm gonna wrap until I think it, I think it looks good. <laughs> Make a cute tassel. It's a piece of fuzz. Yeah, it's a regular size piece of printer paper like somebody's telling somebody else and I take the top where your printer's going to feed the paper into to be printed. Um, you just tape the top all the way across like that. All the way across. So the rollers will not catch the paper. And it'll just carry, it'll carry it on in there. And you won't, it's not, you know, won't get hung on the, um, the rollers. Okay, so here's my little tassel. So I'm going to slide this off. Y'all know how to do this probably. Put the yarn from the middle on the other side. I think I know what she's talking about, but I don't know. Okay. So yeah, I should have put my top, top thing in there, but it's okay. All right. So here's my yarn. So I'm going to cut off more than I need because y'all know me. I'd rather have too much than not enough. And I'm going to feed this through here. So this is going to be the top of my tassel. Like that. <laughs> Rhonda, you make the best tassels. I like to make the fabric ones for sure. But 
yarn makes pretty tassels. Somebody's making jelly, strawberry jelly. I saw, but that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie a couple of knots like that. And then this is what we're gonna use, I hope, to tie it to our piece. So now I'm gonna pull out, see, look at that, what's that? Oh no, I don't got time for that. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna, I don't wanna give my tassel a hair, my, my tie a haircut. Okay, so I'm gonna take this piece and this is how I do it. Everybody kind of does it different. And I leave my tail out here. And then I'm just going to wrap it around and make the neck of the tassel just several times and kind of pulling it tight as I go. And make my little neck of my tassel. And then I'm going to tie that end to the tail end and make a knot there. Yes, Bar, we have yarn. Oh, I know if y'all made pom-poms with me, we had yarn. I need to break out the pom-poms again. Okay, so I'm going to tie that several times. So now we got this cute little tassel. Okay. And, well, it's not a tassel yet. We got to, we got to do this part. So, just put your scissors through all your little loops and cut them. And so see, it's going to kind of look a little bit um, shaggy. So then we're just going to give it a haircut. Okay. So look how cute this is. <laughs> Yarn makes such cute tassels. There it is. Cute. Okay. So now I'm going to tie this to the bottom of my charm, ornament, whatever we're calling this. I don't even know what we're calling it. Blech. That was not a good thing to do was put that in my mouth because now I got fuzz in my mouth. Y'all, this is not going to be fun. Let's see what kind of t tools I got over here to poke it down in that hole. You can use jute. You can use yarn, whatever you want to use. Okay, look, that's my cricket pokey thing. <laughs> okay, so. So I'm going to tie it, and you can either let it hang down, or I, I'm going to kind of put mine flush so it won't just be too incredibly long. And I'm just going to tie it there. I'm going to make a few knots. Oh, good. Linda put it at the... Yay, Linda. Thank you for doing that. You're still... Linda, you're still laughing about my uh, my cubby shelf that I had the epic fail. Yeah, I almost had an epic fail. But, yeah. And y'all were all screaming at me at the top of your lungs. Ah! You're gluing it wrong. You're gluing it wrong. Look how cute my little tassel is. How cute is that? So cute. Now, we're going to do the top. And I'm going to use, use what's left. But I, I think I'm going to use jute for that. Because I'm going to break up that yellow a little bit. So this is just some jute. Now, I have, these are from the Dollar Tree. Just their little wood beads they have. Thank y'all. Um, but how cute would these be for Mother's Day? For somebody. So cute. If you got grandkids or whatever, or Sunday school class. All right, so figure out how I'm gonna do this now. Do I wanna tie it? Do I wanna, I don't think I can loop it through and then pull it. I might can do that. I don't know, we'll see. I think I'm gonna make a, and go ahead and make, tie it to get the ends together and make a, um, one big loop. I'm gonna try it this way. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Leah. Y'all are so sweet. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. And I'm gonna put a little hot glue on my knot just because. Sometimes, 
Sometimes, you know, they want to come undone. Yes, they would make good Christmas gifts or even on a bag or any kind of gift. If you're giving something for Mother's Day, that would be super cute. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm just trying to see how this is going to work because I can't pull that knot out. I was going to loop it through. Okay, if I can get it through here. I'm trying to think through it in my brain. So I'll poke my, with my little Cricut tool. Ugh. Hold on. Why does this have to be so hard? But you can make your holes any size you want. My husband just drilled mine and I said, I just need them big enough for some twine to go through. Thank you, Ann. Okay. All right, here it comes out the front. See, then I can grab it. And trying to get it to where that knot's gonna be. Okay, good, I got it to where the knot's in the back. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it to be, um, yes, Norma, yeah, a gift bag, a bead threader, yes, a bead threader would work. <laughs> but look how super cute this is. And these are just the Dollar Tree ones um, that come in those little bags. Okay, so you can just add whatever you want to add, and then I'm going to attempt to tie a knot, and I made my loop really big, so it's really long, but, so my bead won't come back off, but if you want to make this smaller, you can always um, just keep tying you some knots, or you can cut it and then tie it back in a knot. Because I did make it long, not thinking about that. Uh, Charlene, if you go to the group down there at the bottom of the live right there and click that. And it's my, it's just my free community group where everybody shows their crafts. But I have to put the files in there because it won't let me put them here on my main page. But look how adorable is this. So cute. Okay. Um, so there's that. So here is the B one. So I saw somebody give you the rundown. These are rounds from Walmart, just little thin ones. These are just wood uh, rounds from Dollar Tree. My husband drilled holes in the top and the bottom. And then we painted them white. And then we printed off the on tissue paper. I printed these on tissue paper uh, from the printable that's in the group. And then we Mod Podged them onto these rounds. That's, that's what we've done so far. Now we're making, um, now I'm making them cute. So I think the bee needs some yellow. So I have some yellow, and then I, oh well, you know what? I'm kind of liking this. This um, baker's twine, or you can use yarn or whatever suits your fancy. I don't know if that's too bright. Hmm. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this. I like this baker's twine. Okay, so I did, this is three inches, so if that helps you, uh, but you do you and you do however long you want yours to be, and of course, the more you wrap, the fatter your tassel is going to be, but you can do any color yarn you want to do, or baker's twine, or jute, or whatever you wish, whatever you have. Okay, so there's that. I guess I need to put, I'm going to put my tie piece. Um, Charlene, it's right there. It's pinned at the bottom of this live, the group. Oh, it's okay, Robin. You can always watch the replay. All right, so I did it right this time. I took my tie piece and I put it up here at the top and I'm going to go ahead and tie it. And then that way, when I pull it off the card, it's not going to, it's not, I'm not going to lose my little loop thing. Charlene, it's right there. Yeah, and there in, it's in the files tab. Even though I just put it in the group, it's probably at the top of the feed, but, you know, who knows? It, oh, what, uh, what am I doing? What's happening? Oh, I'm not pulling the right piece. That might would help. Okay. What are y'all saying? 
The wood slices, Joy, yes, they came from Dollar Tree. I got them a few weeks ago. Um, but I wanted to do two different ways so y'all could see. But these are in like a pack from Walmart. Um, six in a pack. And they're like a little over three inches. But they're hanging in the craft section at Walmart. And then my husband just drilled holes in the top and the bottom for me. So, um, that's what I did. <laughs> my son just came home. So, he has to come in here and says, um, and tell me he's home. All right. Where are my ends? Okay. So, now I'm going to make the neck of my tassel. And I think I'm going to do black. Wait, I got black baker's twine. And I collect baker's twine from everywhere. I have some from my Dollar Tree. I have some from Amazon. Um, hey, Sherry. Yes, a, there is some bee. I've seen the bee ribbon at Dollar Tree, and I was like, I don't need any ribbon. I don't need any ribbon. I don't need any ribbon. So, I refrained. I didn't get any because I, I don't need anything. Um, but yeah, the, that ribbon would be cute. Make a fabric tassel or if you have some bee fabric. Okay. So making my neck of my tassel and I'm going to tie it off. I know, Nancy, I love it too. I got, I have a bag, like I got a bag of it off Amazon and it came in blue, pink, green, red, yellow. It came in all these crazy colors and so that's what I usually have, like rolls like this that's going to last you forever. And then Dollar Tree has it too on the big rolls sometimes. Okay, so there's my little tassel. And now I'm going to cut my... You just want to put your scissors right in the little loop. And then I just pull it tight like that so you can get it right in the middle. And then make sure I got them all. And yes. So then you can... I'm gonna trim it. Give it a little haircut. Okay. So see, it's cute. All oh, that little, what happened to that piece? He didn't get trimmed. Isn't it cute? Hey, Linda. Yay, Tina just printed her images. She is like on it. Like she is gonna make her some of these tonight so there's the bee and we are going to tie this to the end let me just get my little pokey tool and this is what i call my pokey tool i use this for everything all kinds of stuff <laughs> not probably what it was intended for but i use it for everything look at my my knot looks some kind of weird or something going on with my knot. I don't know what that was about. Okay. That pokey tool works great for all kinds of stuff. All right. So now I'm just going to tie my little knot in the back. Or it doesn't have to be the back if you want to do both sides. But there's their favorite DT. Yes, this is my favorite, like, little tool. I, I, and I have one over there. I have one over here. My husband has one in his shop he uses for just whatever. Um, but I use it all the time. And I try to kind of keep a spare pack out here somewhere because I'm scared I'm going to lose it. Okay, look how stinking cute this is. Let me get my knot on my tassel centered. I don't know what's going on with that knot, but it was weird and wonky. But look how cute. Hold on. Let's get it all. Look at how cute this is. All right. So now I'm going to put my, I'm going to use the black for my little hanger and I'm going to do it different this time, I think. Yes, I use mine for everything. These are smaller from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to tie it on this time, I think. If I can get it. But I use that little thing for everything. So I'm going to do it this way this time. 
this last time I didn't think about it being so long. All right, hold on. Yeah, they're gonna go through there, okay. I'm gonna tie it three times for good measure. Cause you know, it'll work itself loose. It, at least mine will. I don't know if my knots are just not tight enough or what. He would call that a plunger. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put just a little hot glue on there just because it don't, I don't want it to come loose. All right, now I can see if I can get this knot through my bead. My glue is not dry. Yeah, kids say the craziest things. All right, I'm gonna have to go with the bigger beads because my knot won't go through the hole. So be aware of that. Okay. Cute. You could paint your bead. You could do whatever you want to. Square knots. Okay, and I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I know how to do a square knot maybe. I probably do, I probably just don't know that's what it's called. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay. So now I got it on there. And now I'm trying to think of how I'm going to get it to where it won't slide up and down my thread. A little hot glue is going to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to put hot glue in there so it doesn't slide up and down my thread. Look how stinking cute this is. Look at it. So cute. I love the B one. But y'all can do whatever you want to with these images. If you want to not put them on these, you do whatever you want to. Um, Alicia, no, there are printables in the group. I put them in the group. There's a sunflower, there's a bee, there's a flower with a butterfly on it, and there's a wreath. And here's the one with the wreath. And we printed it on tissue paper and put it on these little wood rounds. And then I just kind of took paint and painted them with water. And I'm just making like little, you can do rear view mirror charms. You can hang this on a gift, just whatever. So cute on a little knob on like a cabinet in your house or something. How adorable would that be? If you had like a bee theme in your bathroom or, or just flowers, it would be so, so cute. Now, what color for this one? I didn't get any blue yarn out. So, I got this green. I got green, but I think that's going to be too, too green for that. And I don't know. Let's just do... I could do that again. I'm going to do jute. We're just going to do jute just to see what it looks like. Uh, I'm looking at my yarn down here. Hang on. I see some blue. I got my whole bin out here. No, that's not yarn. That's a hat. Hold on. I'm getting some yarn, y'all. I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm digging. That's too blue. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, we'll wait till y'all see this. This is Dollar Tree as well. Look at this. Look, it'll match my blue and it's going to make a super pretty um tassel it's that like cable kind of stuff you're welcome tina yeah you can do so much with these printables y'all you can put them on anything you want to like i have these out to show y'all if you want to like i have a bunch of these from the fall section at hobby lobby when they were on sale but you could definitely put these on like one of these um, I mean, can't you see that B? It's so cute on this or anything you want to put it on. But I just had these in my mind. I've been seeing like little car charms and stuff all over Instagram everywhere. And um, so I just was like, I'm just going to make my own version. So I did. So I made some printables to go with it. Look how cute this tassel is going to be. 
It's going to be fat. <laughs> okay, this is like chunky, I don't know, cable yarn. I don't know what it is, but it's a whole lot chunkier than the regular kind. Oh, yeah, my husband drilled the holes in them just really carefully, like, because this, this little wood will splinter when you drill through, so you got to be careful. Or you can put some tape and then drill through the tape, and it shouldn't splinter. Um, but, like, these, he just, these are Dollar Tree, and he drilled the holes for me. He made me a lot. <laughs> I guess he thought I was going to make sure I had enough. Okay. All right, so... Putting that in there. Tying it super tight. Yeah, it's a very doable craft. And like I said, if you you know have older kids in Sunday school, let's see if I can do this. Or anything like that, little you know, kids in some kind of class you teach, they could do this too for Mother's Day. Because I got the flower and the butterfly and then you could put their their initial in the middle. They could write their initials, their mother's initial in the middle. Now I've lost my, okay. Anything like that, it'd be super, super cute. I know this blue yarn is so pretty and it's Dollar Tree. It's just one of those little Dollar Tree ones. If I see yarn in Dollar Tree that I don't have or I don't think I have, I always get it. I'm gonna use, what do I do with my... I'm going to use jute to go around it. No, Beth. Yeah, well, you have to be in the group, yes. But that's because it's the only place I can I can put my files. But it's a, it's a free group. It's not a paid group. So, anybody can get in there. So, it's not, it's not anything you have to pay for. So, don't think that at all. Uh, Karen, it's a PDF file, but it's just images. They're just uh, images on a piece of paper. The, Elaine, the disc, they came from Walmart. Um, they are in the crafting section, and they come six in a pack. They're like three and a quarter wide or a little over three. And, um, but I, I keep them. I do stuff with them. I did the snowman. Somebody reminded me earlier. I did the snowman heads with them back in the wintertime. But yeah, Beth, you, you're welcome. You don't have to. Uh, it's not a paid thing or anything like that. It's just where I put, there's a lot of files in there too that I've used um, over the years for crafts that I show here. I just can't, I don't have a place on my main page to put them. No, Roxanne, they come or they come just like this. They're just black and white, so it doesn't use your ink in your printer and, I mean, your colored ink. And then I went with acrylic paint and watered it down and just added a touch of color here and there on them. That's all I did. And see, I painted these little flowers blue and put, and I stamped my initial in the middle with my stamps. So easy peasy. Now I got to get this fat yarn through this hole. <laughs> I'll say a prayer that I can get this through there. <laughs> We're going to see. I don't know. Didn't think about that when I made this super cute tassel, which I could have put jute at the top. It's probably what I should have done. But believe it or not, it's going through there. Ha, ha, ha. Look at there. Da, da, da. Super cute. You're welcome. Yeah, Dana's on there trying to help y'all. I need to find a beehive print for a project. Nancy, um, just Google it. Like, Google it and then click images, and it should show you a whole bunch. Um, oh, y'all, look at this blue. Looks so pretty. Um, you could be, able, or just go to Pinterest and type in printable um, beehive or something like that, and it should... You'll probably find some. Or color and page. Look at that cute little tassel. Look at that. Ain't he cute? It matches perfect. Look how stinking adorable this is. I'm just happy with myself. Y'all, it don't take much to make me happy. Um, 
just making something and then you kind of get that instant gratification of like, oh, look at how cool this looks. Let me do this first. And this jute is my skinny jute and it goes through there really well. Okay. Now I'm going to tie a knot. couple of knots actually. Hey Carla. Hey Valerie. I know Karen. I love crafting too. It just makes me happy. Keeps the crazy away. Okay. Now let me see. I don't think this knot's going to go through. No, nope, it's not. I'm going to have to use the bigger ones. All right. And these are just my little Dollar Tree beads. And I could paint the beads. Oh, Kathy, that sounds awesome. Breakfast for supper. I could eat breakfast anytime. Oh, thank you, Charlene. You're so sweet. Okay. All right, here we go. Look at how stinking cute this is. Look at that. And look at that blue matches. And I didn't even plan that. So cute, but there's probably not a whole lot of yarn I don't have that Dollar Tree has. And I think I'm gonna tie a knot. I got enough this time to tie a knot to keep my beads from going away or floating off or whatever they're gonna do. Okay, look how super cute that is. Super cute. He won't lay right. There we go. Look how cute. Keeps most of the crazy away. Yes, it does. Just when you got other stuff that's distracting you and you're, you know, working on something, you don't have time to worry about all this other stuff that you don't even, um, don't even need to worry about. Patricia, you mix biscuits and gravy. That sounds good. Look how stinking cute these are. I just love them. I, I even love the wood slice. I think it's, um, it's just different, but it's that got that rustic kind of look to it. So I think it's really cool, but, um, Oh, thank you, Deborah. But just these are so easy, guys. And I mean, like I said, some older kids could do this for Mother's Day, um, Sunday school, whatever, and do it for Mother's Day. And look how stinking cute they are. And just think of all the colors you could do or the yarn. And you could change the yarn, change the colors, and personalize it if you want to with somebody's initial. But, you know, if you can hand letter, then you just go right on ahead because I don't. <laughs> He looks terrible. So, um, Joy, they might could. And, you know, you you know what you could do, Joy, for a four- and five-year-olds? Is you could draw, like, you could put their thumbprint and make, like, flower petals with their thumbprint. You know, and then put a circle in the middle. And then draw the stem for them. And then you could help them make this. Um, but, yeah, use their thumbprint. And make like a whole flower with their, like the petals. That would be super cute. And then it's personal for Mother's Day for their, you know, for their mom. It would be so adorable. Because it'd have their thumbprint on it. And who's, you know, mom's going to throw that away. Um, and you could also, I'll tell you something else you can use for your tassel. Is the DMC floss. You know, the embroidery floss, like cross stitch floss. You could, all your package and it's already looped over. You could just use one end and cut the whole thing in half and then use one end for one and the other end for that. There's everybody. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. My internet just kind of, I don't know. So I had, it asked me to switch to cellular, so I did. So I'm here and everybody said, why you left? But that's okay. It's fine. Yay. Thank you, Sue. But I, at least I got done with the craft before that happened. <laughs> I guess my internet decided to go kaplunk or something at that moment. But anyway, yeah, Donna, I know it froze. Excuse me, it froze up. But anyhow. So some of y'all are still here. Thank you, Tan Tanya. Okay, somebody's back because I see hearts. I know, it's frozen. Stinks. Uh-oh. Maybe y'all come back in a second because there is a delay. 
Yay, Tammy's back. Hello. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. I, my internet just decided to go, I don't know. Yay, I'm back. Okay, so at least I got done with the craft and it decided to check out on me. But that, that glue worked good, putting that glue in there. It's not, they're not going to go anywhere. But yes, look, I love them. I love these. Hey, Norma. Yes, we're here, Diana said. Hey, hey, Arlene. But look how cute. And look how cute it would be if you did pink flowers and you did a pink yarn. Oh, my gosh, y'all. These are so cute. You could hang them on your cabinet knobs. You could even make magnets with them and put a tassel on the bottom and not even put a top thing and put a magnet on the back and put it on your refrigerator. So cute, y'all. There's so many little things you can do with these adorable little things. Christmas napkins. Yes, Kathy, and put a... Uh, a jingle bell at the bottom or a tassel and a jingle bell. Cute, 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 cute. Yeah, I'm on my cellular now, so it's probably not really the greatest. Um, so anyway, but I'll post a picture of these tomorrow and I'll have them all staged up cute. And thank y'all for coming on. I love y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. Um, I may not be live Monday night because my son has a meeting for the seniors next year. So I have to go to that meeting. So I'm probably not going to be live Monday night. I may just do it Tuesday. All right, guys. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all. I don't know. I'll see y'all probably Tuesday. Bye, guys.